It's best speech of his presidency by far. By far. Strongest speech. And most importantly, for people that were thinking, oh, he's too old, he's too this, he's too that. Man, he, he, like I said, he gave a lot more than he got. Wow, key word, feisty Joe. I hate to break this to the liberal elites and our friends in the media mob, but the American public isn't buying their spin. Uh, everybody knows that Joe Biden is a frail and a weak cognitive mess. Uh, and despite their best efforts and probably a lot of Red Bull, well, everyone can see that uh, on a pretty much on a daily basis. Now, by the way, here are some of jacked up Joe's lowlights from last night. Watch. The threat to democracy must be defended. As two of my heroes, like many of you did, Dr. King and Bobby Cunningham were assassinated. And their legacies inspired me to pr pr pursue a, cure, a career in service. But Israel has a, <coughs> excuse me, Israel has a added burden. It's not about him, it's not about me. I'd be a winner, not really. I. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but if you want to get in Air Force One and fly to Toronto, Berlin, Moscow, I mean, excuse me, and it, well, even Moscow, probably. Joe, her name, it was on the button. Lakin Riley, not Lincoln Riley, Lakin Riley. You are holding her pin. On the pin, her name was written on it. How did you manage to still? Listen, Sean Hannity takes it to a whole new level. What came out the State of Union speech, the liberal media is celebrating Joe Biden's State of the Union speech. They said this is the one of the best speech ever. Sean Hannity breaks it down and also cut couple of the blunder that he made during the speech. Of course, the liberal media is not going to talk about it. And I also want to throw Berkeley's, you know, remarks. Berkeley, Berkeley's remarks was absolutely disgrace. He should just, you know, just be quiet because if he's not going to say something nice, he should just stay quiet. And right now, you see what is happening here is absolutely disgrace because CNN is a big part of fueling the agendas and 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 talking about like, hey, this this is the one of the best speech and. Uh, uh, and when Donald Trump, like not even once, his state of the union of speech, that's how you know, like was celebrated. This is how you know that media is compromised. Media is the police of, of the world and, and then also spreading information that is not even, it doesn't make sense. There, because there is agenda behind it, and that agenda is not even being exposed. This is the very reason people like you, they lost a lot of lot of foe in the media because they know media is not gonna tell the truth. Media is not being honest with the general public of a general, general public here in the America, United States, because media is after their own agenda. And uh, as you know, in America, 95% of the media or 96%, I think, even Fox News, I feel like a little bit tilted towards the other side and uh, and is not being really truth to what they should be speaking on. If you look at the Trump rallies, I also want to bring it a um, couple of speech. 
If you look at the Trump's rally speeches, those are way better than Joe Biden's speeches, you know. And you will be absolutely, absolutely will be shocked to to see some of the some of the Trump speeches that he gives. But you know, I wanted to highlight this because I think it's absolutely crucial for you to to watch what is happening right now in the United States of America. Because I feel like nobody's telling the truth. They are being devious on that and they're not really, uh, at the end of the day, I don't feel that, uh, that the media has the best interest of the general public in their mind. Also the people supposed to be watching because I think media became so much bias. It's just, um, just talking about their own agendas. Like it's all about how they can please the few elites out there instead of um, instead of like following the interest of the of the general public. I don't think that's being served, being catered. It's like right now you see it's the only one agenda it's like media has and that's how you know they can just infiltrate American psychology to children just to win-win because you know one party they just don't want to lose power they hate it and Ber Berkeley is going on there and talking about punching people I'm like this is insane this guy I mean I don't even enjoy his basketball anymore <laughs> and um Biden is, is sad for for him being that old and then um, and how they're pushing um, the narrative how they kept like keeping him in in the, in the race and um, I, I don't think that's right by American people and also by the world because when you look at the world, world is look to america for leadership but if america's cognitive leadership is declined then how else the world is going to look up why should the world look up look up to america look towards america for the leadership i think it's it's losing credibility and also, as you know, dollar values, dollar val value is like falling down. American jobs are being lost. And uh, people don't feel comfortable, you know, because when inflation is high, people are spending less money. Everything is so expensive. I never thought in my wildest dream that I will be paying about Five to six hundred dollar electric bill, three to four hundred dollar, you know, water bill and and the gas bill. I am just shocked that at the pump, we are used to fill the gas for fifty dollar, uh, you know, forty dollar, forty five. Now I'm sixty, seventy, eighty dollar being paid. Even California is worse. Uh, how are people gonna survive? And these people are come along, you know, people like Berkeley got ton of money, have no, absolutely no regard for the, for the middle class or lower than middle class, because this guy just steps out of his car into the CNN studio and step out of the car and go home. And that's why, I mean, don't even listen to this guy because no clue. They have zero, zero, zero clue how middle class is living, how how people are day in and day out surviving. There is a lot of people that moved to Texas. They didn't move to Texas because they wanted to move. They moved to Texas because everything is affordable here. A lot of people from California moved uh, to Texas because things are things are not turning out the way you know people expected it. And then uh, 
then then what what else do you say so my comments is like we need the right leadership in the house in order to make the right decision and lift up people from the poverty i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you share like comment below have a beautiful day